And yeah, that is basically how it goes. Guys, welcome to the channel The Mars Survivalist. As always, if you want to get prepared for real, the world in which we live in and how complicated it's getting, get yourself surviving the economic collapse and three survival skills. Both of these books will help you get a lot better prepared. In both of these books, I talk about just this. The idea of when your country is no longer viable. It's not offering the standards of living that you expect. It's not safe anymore. You want to get the hell out of there. In this case, it is... Israel that we're talking about a quarter of Israelis plan to leave after Lebanon invasion all right uh, having gone through shit like this in terms of you being completely disenchanted with your country your politicians the way and things are going and of course there's differences here you're looking at something that's a uh, it could be potentially super dangerous for everyone involved but this idea of I'm done I just cannot put up with this crap anymore uh, I'm telling you that if it's a quarter of people talking about this, maybe 10, 20% of them actually go along with it. Maybe in this case it could be more because there's actual you know, physical things falling from the sky that could end you at any moment. So that's, and yeah, starting shit with Iran, that is, that, that's, that's going to be fun. Uh, but this is something that obviously is not making life better for anyone. Certainly not for the people in Lebanon being invaded or poor people in Gaza being blown to pieces till this day, uh, but not even for Israeli people that want to live in peace. I assume the majority of Israelis want to live in peace and not have this shit happen. I guess a lot of them have been brainwashed into thinking that, yeah, we have to exterminate everyone. We continue but to await anyway. Israel's uh, retaliation against Iran. We know that Bibi Netanyahu spoke to Joe Biden. We don't know much about the detail the attack will look Coming back, tag, well, well, deadly, precise, yeah, yeah that, that's going to that's gonna be a fine idea. Start, start even more shit with, with it. Iran, of all people. Yeah, that's, that's going to work beautifully well. Like, this is what he's threatening. He says Israel's coming attack on Iran, the attacks on Lebanon, and the forthcoming attacks on Iran. First of all, we had reports that, um, you know, some of the, the, the people who are actually running Mideast, Middle East policy, like Brett McGurk, um, effectively greenlit. The Israeli invasion into Lebanon, you now have... Yeah, that is, that is the, the awfully obvious. Nothing is done without uh, agreeing with the United States first. Any Anything that Israel does. And, of course, there's different optics and there's pretending. There's, oh, oh, but oh, you, you better stop doing this. And Israel goes, yeah, fuck it, we do anything we want. But at the end of the day, the thing is this, guys, it's all the same. There's no difference. There's no difference between Israel, the United States. I mean, no difference really physically in terms of literally no difference because it's the bombs that are being dropped all over the place are made are American weapons. It's money from money that people in the United States. It's money that people in the United States don't have and obviously desperately need. And look how everything is interconnected. We we were talking. I was. I just did the video on this guy uh, looking to marry someone in, in Philippines because it's going to be cheaper for him to live over there, given that he's homeless in the United States. Homeless as someone with a job. That just says a lot about how the economy is, how horrible it is. Uh, but the guy hasn't got enough money because the money's going elsewhere. Instead of him keeping his money, no, money has to go to Israel for this uh, insanity over there. Um, what do you let me, let me know what you think in the comments? Do you think that's a good idea to have your money being used to uh, get closer and closer to a, a full blown global conflict with damn Iran and who knows who else? Or should that money be left in your pocket so that you live your life in the way you think is best? And while at it, not make horrible attacks on civilian people that is just just disgusting. I think it's terrible. But anyway. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a quarter of Israelis that are planning to leave the, the country once uh, things are somewhat normal and they can move around a little bit more. See you later, guys. Take care.